Daniel from Wolverhampton Music Service and in this video I'll be looking at a group of notes on the clarinet called the throat notes. And to help us with these notes um, I'll be showing you a little later a short and easy to learn piece which I've called the throat notes tango as it uses some of the rhythms of the tango dance style. Now this video is mainly for those who have been learning the clarinet for a short amount of time possibly about six months or up to a year, but may also be helpful for those who've been playing for about two to three years. So what are the throat notes? Well, they're the notes at the upper end of the lower register, starting with the open G up to the B flat, so that's including the G sharp and the A. Once you start introducing the next note down, F sharp, the next semitone note, then we start to get some unusual hand and finger movements which we're going to look at in this video. Now the first I want to look at is from the F sharp up to the A. So F sharp first finger and you roll your finger sideways up towards you onto the A key. Be careful not to raise your finger off the clarinet, but keep it attached. Just roll upwards and of course back down to the F sharp. You may notice my wrist just moving slightly sideways as well, which is very important, but try to keep all movement as minimal as possible. And the next I want to look at is from the open G up to the B flat. And here we use both the thumb key and the first finger A key at the same time. Here you must be very careful to use both fingers at the same time as it's very easy to catch just one and create an extra note in between. And the third one is going from A down to G sharp, the key on the side, which you use with just the side of your first finger So again, a roll of the finger in a different direction, and you can see my wrist moving as well. Now it's very important with all of these to keep your fingers that you're not using as close to the finger holes as possible, so that they stay in position all the time. And the last one is going from the B flat down to the A and down to G sharp and then back up again. So that just uses again the roll from the A key. So in addition to the finger movements and hand movements of those notes, one other thing to remember is to keep blowing through the clarinet, imagining that you're still having to fill the whole instrument with air rather than just up as far as the notes at the top of the instrument where the throat notes are located. And this, is, this will help you get a, a fuller sound and better intonation. And to help get used to these notes and finger movements, I've created a short and easy to learn piece called the Throat Notes Tango. Uh, this is in four sections or phrases and the first phrase begins with an F sharp going up to A, back down to F sharp and then again up and down creating a shorter five note group. We then play this three times. And the end of the first phrase begins on B flat, going down to A and back to B flat again. So let's play the whole of the first phrase. And the 
The second phrase is the same rhythm as the first phrase, but we begin with a G going up to B flat and back down to G again. The end of the second phrase begins with an A, going down to G sharp and back up to A. Let's play the whole of the second phrase. And the third phrase is very similar to the first phrase, but we swap the notes around so we begin with the higher note, A, going down to the F sharp. And the end of the third phrase begins on B flat, this time going down to A and again down to G sharp, then back up to A, finishing back up on B flat. Let's play the whole of the third phrase. And the fourth phrase is similar to the second, but we start with the upper note B flat going down to G and back up to B flat. This time we only play the five note group twice. This is followed by the final group of notes at the end of the second phrase, the A going down to G sharp and back again. And the final group of notes is two A's, F sharp and D, with two fingers and thumb. Let's play the whole of the final phrase. So now let's perform the whole of the throat notes tango with some piano accompaniment, which I recorded earlier. And don't forget to subscribe to the Wolverhampton Music Service YouTube channel, if you haven't already done so, to receive further notifications of video releases. Thank you.